dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting stories from around the world. May I quickly crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. I bring you reasons and why many still want Ehedioha back as governor of Imo State. We all know that Emeka Ehedioha and uh, Hope Uzadima still has a case pending and uh, a faction or a set of people, if not many, have actually been uh, hoping and believing that Emeka Ehedioha can still return as the governor of Imo State despite the judgment from the Supreme Court. And this can be said to be foiled by um, the suit that was instituted by RAP, Kingdom of Kereke, you know, at the court, you know, seeking interpretation to the Supreme Court judgment between the, between that, uh, you know, proclaim the in-law of Orocha Sokorocha Uche Wosu as the candidate of the APC instead of Hope Uzadema. Well, it remains to be seen. Well, let's quickly take a look and see why many still want Emeka Ehedio Habak as governor of Imo State. It is often said that he who wears a shoe is the one that knows where it is painting him. In other words, it is only those directly affected by an issue that can tell exactly what the impact is. This has been the case of many Imolites since the wake of the Supreme Court's judgment that sacked Emeka Ihedioha as governor of the state and brought in Senator Hope Uzadema. Prior to his removal from office, it can be recalled that many civil servants in the state were again smiling and feeling motivated to work due to the timely payment of their salaries. It can also be recalled that pensioners in the state were also smiling to the bank following the successful completion of their biometric verification and timely payment of pensions and gratuities. However, these good times can be argued to have been short-lived following the removal of Emeka Ihedioha from office. Since then, many Imolites have wished and hoped that Ihedioha returns as the executive governor of Imo State. With this endless call for his return, we may begin to wonder why many still want him back, despite the fact that his election was nullified by the Supreme Court. In addressing this, I have come up with two reasons I believe could be why many still want him back. First of all, it is important to note that prior to the 2019 governorship election in the state, there have been calls for a governor from over a senatorial zone. Ihedioha being from the zone could have been seen by many as just and fair to ensure that the zone has had its own share of governorship position in the state. With Olu zone having ruled for 16 years, and Okigwe ruling for four years. Indigents of Owere zone could be calling for the return of Ihedioha because of the belief that it is the zone's turn to produce a governor. The second reason could be that many particular civil servants and pensioners saw a glimpse of hope during the seven months reign of Ihedioha. As such, it could be that many want him back because of what they believed would have been a memorable administration. So guys, what do you think and what are your thoughts concerning this? The people of Imo State feel they deserve better and uh, that is the more reason why they feel that they want um, Emeka Ehedioha back. However, what are the expectations so far? From the on the hearing of the rap versus hope Uzodima suit, what are the expectations? The March 2019 Imo State governorship election, just like elections in other parts of the country, is one that has caused divided opinions among many Nigerians. It is on record that within a period of eight months after the election, 
two governors emerged under two different political parties. But based on the same election, this has created even more divide or divided opinions in the state as though who do not find the outcomes favorable have continued to lament. Recently, when everyone thought that the case has been finally laid to rest, another movement surfaced with the sole ambition to ensure that the incumbent governor, Senator Hope Uzodema, is removed from office. The movement which is championed by Barrister Kingdom Okere, the governorship candidate of the Reform and Advancement Party, RAP, is praying the courts to give a legal interpretation of the Supreme Court judgment between Uchen Wosu and Senator Hope Uzodema, where the court was alleged to have affirmed Uchen Wosu as the duly nominated candidate of the All Progressive Congress, the APC. With the judgment, many have argued that it simply left Senator Hope Uzodema with no political party in the election as the APC could not have nominated two governorship candidates in the same election in one state. The suit, which is now before a federal high court in Abuja, has been scheduled for hearing on the September 29th, 2020, which is exactly a month away from now. As the date approaches, many have the expectations high that the suit will be decided in their favor. While there are others who do not care about whatever the outcome will be, therefore, I have put up this article to enable us discuss to know what are the expectations ahead of the September 19, 2020 court hearing of the suit. So guys, are you among those who believe that the case is dead on arrival or the ones who are hopeful, who believe that the suit is capable of returning Emeka Ihedioha as the governor of Imo State? Well, it is what it is, guys. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. There is no hope that is lost, if you ask me. I think that everything is possible. There is nothing that is impossible as it is. If um, Hope Uzodima could become the governor of Imo State, despite all, or despite the INEC reports and all what have you, then we can believe, or it is safe to believe that everything is possible and that Emeka Hedioha could possibly return as the governor of Imo State. While some people believe that Hopus Odema's emergence as governor of Imo State via the Supreme Court was actually orchestrated by the late Abakiari, the former chief of staff of the president, Muhammad Buhari, it could not be out of place if people begin to think that since the former chief of staff is no longer alive, then whatever it is, it is that he has against the Supreme Court judges or those in charge, which make them to rule in his favor or give the judgment in his favor on what he does desire, now they probably might have nothing again to hold them or nobody to hold anything against them and they might just give the right judgment or the right interpretation to the judgment that is before them but however uh, we cannot conclusively decide or say this is what happens but we would keep our fingers crossed and see what happens don't forget the supreme court has already decided that Uche Wosu was the candidate of the APC then how come Hope Uzadima you know became the governor on the platform of the APC these are issues that need interpretation. And that is what Barrister Kendo Mukere has gone to the court to seek clarification for. So it remains to be seen what the judges would interpret that judgment to be or to mean. Let's not also uh, forget that this judgment could go up all the way back to the Supreme Court again. Because this is starting at the High Court. From the High Court, it could go, it could go to the uh, Appeal Court. From there, it could go back to the Supreme Court and uh, up until that. So there are possibilities on this basis. A lot of people are feeling and believing that there are possibilities for 
Emeka Ihejo had to return as the governor of Imo State. So, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, kindly drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please, kindly hit, hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.